This is Joe Gilder from HomestudioCorner.com, and I want to talk to you today about something that I've had trouble with recently in mixes, and that is kick drum level. Now, you think it'd be super easy to make sure the kick drum's at the right level, but apparently it's not, at least not for me. Maybe you have the same problem. You're mixing a song, and you get the drums going, and that kick drum just, you, you work on it, you take out some mid-range, you compress it real nice, and it's just big and beefy. And you're listening on your speakers, and you just crank it up, and you just, as the louder it gets, the better it sounds. And it's just big, it's hitting you in the chest, it just sounds great. Well, then you leave it that loud, and come to find out, a week later, you go back and listen to the mix, and you realize, man, that kick drum's just way too loud. It's louder than everything else in the mix. And... um it's difficult because you don't notice it at the time because it sounds so good, you're not noticing that it's just sticking out above the rest. So here's a song I did recently. This is actually from a couple months back over at Dueling Mixes. So this top song here. And um, I finished the song and I was in a bit of a hurry and just I liked the groove of it, but the kick drum was just a little too loud. You can see the kick punching through. And that's pretty normal for a mix for that to be up there. But just the overall volume, the difference between the volume of the kick drum and the, the rest of the mix was just a little too much. And so here's just a quick sample uh, of the mix here. So the kick, even now, I listen to it and I think, you know, that's, that's a good kick t drum tone. Like the kick drum sounds good. It's just, it's just too loud. It's hitting the bus compressor and, and kind of squashing everything more than it needs to be. It could have sat down in the mix another maybe just 3 dB and the mix would have been a lot better uh, for it. Now, I don't think it's a bad mix, but it was, it was too loud. I'll, I'll be the first to admit kick drum's a little too loud. So the solution to the problem is either... Well, the first thing is if you're if you're happy with the kick drum level and you have even the slightest suspicion that it's too loud, go ahead and turn it down. You can always bring it back up, but it, it's it's just for some reason it's a, it's a little thing of self control. Bring that kick drum back down just a little below of where it's really kicking you in the chest, and it's probably going to be a better overall level for the mix. The second thing to do is to listen to something else. Don't just listen to your own music. If you're working on a bunch of mixes, make sure you're sneaking in there some sort of someone else's professional mix. Like, for example, I love uh, the Wallflowers bringing down the horse. One headlight in particular. Love the drum sound they're able to get. Uh, and it's just a real basic drum sound. But go in and listen. What do the kick and snare sound like on this song? And it just, it's almost like it just resets your brain. You think, okay, that kick is still punchy. It still has some low end and the snare is really snappy, uh, but the kick doesn't sound this loud. And so just switch back and forth. Now, obviously, one headlight is mastered and mine's not, but even even then, the, the differences are obvious. You can look, and you can see, here's a kick, and then here's a snare. That kick is a lot bigger than that snare, versus over here, look at one headlight, kick, snare, kick, snare. They're just nice, they're just nice and, and even. They're roughly the same volume. So you can use meters to check it, use your ears, compare it to a, somebody else's mix, do something, but... For heaven's sake, let's turn the kick drum down just a little bit. Don't make your mixes anemic and lacking any punch, but don't love the punch so much that it takes over your mix. That's all I'm saying. All right, that's it for me. I'm Joe from HomestudioCorner.com. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful for you. Happy mixing. See you next week.